Hello and welcome back to the part 2 of forget password screens. In the first part we have created the forget password screen which user will enter his email. So we can identify which user want to reset their password. And then we have created this uh, make selection in which we will fetch the data of that specific user and ask him if he is going to go for the SMS verification or for the mail verification. So after that, uh, if he is going to select this mail verification, then we will simply send it mail. And if user is going to select this SMS verification, then we will send a SMS verification or the OTP one time password to the user mobile number and allow the user to enter their password in here using Firebase. And if you want to create this OTP screen, you can check the video link in the description or at the right top corner. Uh, but today, uh, after this verification, user we will allow the user to enter a new password and show his, show him or her to a success message. So that's it we are going to create in this tutorial. So to create a new activity, go to this one and inside this common we have login sign up classes. Uh, you can see we have a bunch of here so right click new and create a new activity empty activity and I am going to name it set new password and click finish to add it okay once added simply close this one uh, but if there is problem with this R you can uh, add or click on its right side and press alt enter and import it uh, close this one for now and go to the split mode Okay, now we need to change its constraint layout to scroll view and press Alt Control L to align the code. We need to define its background color and it is going to be white. Then we need to add some padding. It is going to be 30 dp from sides. Now inside the scroll view we need to create a linear layout with match parent and wrap content. And inside this linear layout we need to create an image view which is going to be wrap content width and height and add its source. I have already added these icons so you can simply add them in the drawable. Okay after this image view uh, the first thing we need is another image which is going to be icon for this screen and it is going to be wrap content width and height and its source is going to be update new password icon and to make it center we are going for the layout gravity and make it center it is not basically going to the center because we have not defined the orientation of linear layout make it vertical and you can see it is at the center now so add some margin top 50 dp and the next thing we need to add is the text view it is going to be wrap content width and height then we need to define its text new credentials define is text size 40 sp change its color text color to black when you define its font family which is a little bold to make it center uh, we need to define its gravity to center and also text alignment is going to be center as well and then to put this whole text to center we need to define its layout gravity to center uh, to make it all caps or all capital just write text all caps to true and we need to define some margin top and it is going to be 30 dp close it now we need to add one more text view and it is going to be new credentials detail I have already added them inside the strings dot XML change the text size to 16 SP text color is black it is at the center right margin top is not going to be anything and let's change its font family to the simple one which is the regular font and also remove text all caps so we have created our second text as well now the next thing we are going to create is uh, going to use the material design 
so text so search for so search for text input layout and make it match parent and wrap content if you don't know how to add the material design text input layouts you can please check my login video or the sign up video uh, for this city guide application or also for the bulls rent if you would like to okay now inside this text input layout we need to add edit text which is material dot text field make it again match parent and height is going to be match parent or wrap content doesn't matter okay it is not going to be end like this but simply make it end tag uh, we need to define its style as i am going to use the fill box for this tutorial there are four styles basically again please go and check the video add some margin top to 40 dp we need to define its first define its background and it is going to be light white uh, sorry not the simple background but when you define the box background color and it is going to be light white like this one then we need to define the hint is going to be new new password change the hint color which is android colon text color hint and make it black now the next thing we need to uh, it's not start it's start icon drawable and it is going to be field password icon like this one and change its start icon tint color to black now we need to define and icon mode and it is going to be not the clear text but it's going to be password toggle and you can see the i or little i over there and then inside this text layout let's define input type and it is going to be text password and now you can see by default it is going to be hidden uh, now and change its end icon color uh, you can go for the end icon tint and make it black as well is a stroke color stroke width focused so when user is going to focus this i just want to make it 2 dp by default this line is 1 dp and we can also define the stroke color and it is going to be black as well so just close this one and copy and paste it at the bottom the last thing we need to create is a button button is going to be match parent and wrap content let's add its background to color primary which is the yellow color add some margin top sorry it should be dp not sp we need to define its text and next one to okay we can change its font family we can change its color and so on and so forth uh, but for now let's close it okay that's it for this screen so now let's create our last screen which is going to be success message so again inside this common folder in the login right click new and create a new empty activity name it forget password success message as this is going to be class every starting letter should be capital so click finish to add it okay once the class is added go back to its xml and move to the split screen okay now inside first of all let's change the constraint layout to linear layout but we are not going to make it scroll view where we don't need this press alt Control l to align the code now as usual add its background color to white then add some padding to 30 dp and in here we need an image view for the back arrow which is going to be wrap content its source is going to be back arrow and we need to define some padding of 5 dp close it now as we want to place everything as this is not a scroll view so we have a whole screen of the of any device so we want to make 
these uh, three to four elements at the center of the screen so for that I am going to create another linear layout and place that linear layout to center so it should be match parent and match parent width and height add a closing tag so the first linear layout should have orientation to vertical and now you can see we have another box and it's gravity because layout gravity means uh, the whole layout will move to some uh, to the center to the left to the right but the gravity means everything inside this text will be at center left right as defined so I am going to define it center so everything placed inside this linear layout will be placed at the center okay now we need to add text view which is going to be wrap content width and height and the text is going to be password updated and we need to change its text color to black add text size to 40 sp add a font family and it is going to be bold one or the black one text alignment to center then its gravity will again be center to remove this error and to make it all caps make it true add a closing tag now after this we need to define the image view which is going to be wrap content width and height its source is going to be password updated icon this one but we need to define its orientation to vertical it's too big uh, let's make it ATDP to ATDP width and height or maybe 120 pretty good Add a closing tag now when you define one more text view after this simply copy and paste so it is going to be password updated success message change it to 16 sp change its font family and it should not be all capital yes now we need to define some space so let's add some margin to the icon 20 dp and at the last we need to create one more button which is going to be wrap content it is not going to wrap content but let's make it 200 dp add its text login add its background to black and change its text color to white add some margin top to 20 dp so that's it for this one as we have some space from the top which is 30 dp at the top and a few for this little icon so click on this image and make the margin top to minus 80 dp or as per your own requirements so when you feel it is at the center you can uh, leave it or change it as per so that's it for this tutorial uh, you can change these text you can get these whole tutorials from the link in the description okay if you have watched this tutorial till here i just want to thank you guys for watching and i just want to make an announcement as the login screen is almost uh, completed the login design and the sign up design is uh, almost completed so the next thing i am going to create is uh, the firebase tutorials for this city guide application and i am going to start from the very next video Sorry for making it too delay. So thank you for watching. If you learned something new, please like the video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe it. Again, thank you very much for watching and take care. Allah Hafiz.